Activists in Brazil have released 100,000 balloons in tribute to the people who have died of the coronavirus. Brazilians are protesting against the way the President Jair Bolsonaro has handled the crisis. He's consistently played down the impact of the virus. Two health ministers have resigned in protest. Brazil now has the second highest death toll in the world after the United States. Israel's Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu has angrily condemned a wave of street protests by his opponents, saying that they were aiming to trample on democracy. For weeks, thousands of Israelis have been staging protests calling for Mr Netanyahu's resignation. They're angry at his handling of the coronavirus pandemic, and they say he shouldn't be in office while also being on trial for corruption. And the Mail on Sunday, uh, leading with that article we've been talking about, written by the Prime Minister, in which he says the country has a moral duty to get pupils in England back to school in September. Boris Johnson says the return of normal teaching is now his national priority. The Sunday Mirror, meanwhile, reports that the UK could be heading for a full lockdown by the end of the month. That is according to a former chief scientific advisor to the government, Sir David King. He told the paper the UK needs an effective test and trace system by September, otherwise schools opening fully again would put us right back. The Observer this morning says that a group uh, of uh, senior MPs from across all parties is urging Boris Johnson to compensate those who've been caught out by new quarantine rules while abroad. Travellers returning from Spain and Belgium, Andorra, the Bahamas have got to isolate now uh, when they get home for 14 days. That could happen to uh, other countries, possibly including France in the future. Growing concerns about rising cases there. So uh, MPs talking about what happens to the people uh, who are caught up in that who maybe can't go to work. And let's go to the Sunday Telegraph, reporting that France is demanding the UK pay £30 million to stem the flow of migrants being smuggled into Britain by criminal gangs. The UK is currently drawing up a plan to deploy naval vessels, drones and even spy planes to stop people trying to reach the south coast of England.